building update. We got our third kennel. Bluey got adopted. I gotta clean his kennel real quick. Little Pikachu's here and Charlie's here. Both of them are going to the vet in the morning because they don't feel too hot. I put the top on this because I was worried a dog might try to climb out because it's only like five and a half foot tall. But what I want to do is put another one of these directly in front of it. And my idea is to, instead of putting the back panel on, connect it to the front of this and then have it so I can have this as two or it can be one. Right now, the footprint for this kennel is about two of these 48 inch crates, which is pretty decent size. So for a little dog like Pikachu, that's a pretty good, decent little space. If I have two of those, I can keep little dogs in these two middle ones. If I have a big dog that needs it, I can just open this middle door and it would have access to both. You have to let me know what you think. If you think that's dumb and we should just connect the second one and not have the middle panel at all and it just be one big one, let me know. But I like the idea of being able to separate them if need be to have two kennels that are bigger than a crate. Let me know what you think. And then last thing we did, well, Steven got a little upgrade. It's a... Uh, it's just a little crate for him, so if Steven's out here, I can open the door. He can go in, eat his food and water, and have his little bed and his toys. And if Steven's not out here, I can shut it, and then the other dogs can't get his stuff gross. Because some of these guys come straight from the mills and cross-contamination, all that fun junk. And then this is what these look like for right now. I still have to put supports for the pallets, but it looks a lot better than what it did. We're getting there, slowly but surely. I'm not sure what the final game plan is for this. I, I kind of want to cut another pallet just so it flows. We'll see. And then I've got this crate that I could set up. I just haven't done that yet. I might. We'll see what see what it looks like. Time will tell. Always messing with things, trying to make it a little bit better. Because if we didn't, then things would be stagnant and the dogs would never get a better quality while they're here. So big plans, little time. We'll just chip away at it, I guess. Well, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments about what we should do here. It's not done. I want to mulch along that way. And then I want to bring it in front of here because that's where our storage is. But at least the main part of the path has mulch down, so if it does rain, we're not going to be living in soup for right now. I also want to bring it out further to the left. Right now I have it going all the way to the gate. I want to widen this. Because it just doesn't feel natural walking that close to the gate and then put somewhere you first enter here because it gets real muddy it's not done but we're started about halfway through the mulch it's probably not going to be enough but it's got a good base layer down at least making changes trying to make it better yeah it's just mulch but hey it looks better it's functional Keeps the dogs from getting muddy. It's worth it if you ask me. Yeah, it looks pretty good.